Life is good for Manucho Gonçalves these days. The striker is perhaps one of the finest talents ever to emerge from Angola. He's captain of the national team and an integral part of a Real Valladolid squad has done well to consolidate in mid-table on its return to La Liga. After a few mediocre years in Europe, Manucho has finally found somewhere that appreciates his talents. I feel happy because I'm playing regularly. I'm working well and I improve with every day that passes, every single day. I'm getting better in every match I play and it's what I've always wanted, to be given the chance to show what I'm worth. Now that they've given me my chance, I can't let it go. I'll work hard each day to be as good as I can be. Manucho is 30 years old now, one of Angola's star players, and he's been a regular goalscorer for the national team since making his debut back in 2007. But he was actually something of a latecomer to international football, partly because he spent his early career in the domestic game, missed by foreign scouts until almost in his mid-twenties. It meant he wasn't in the frame when Angola picked their squad for the 2006 FIFA World Cup. I had to watch the matches on TV and, to be honest, I felt a bit sad. I'd wanted to be at the 2006 World Cup because I'd been playing really well at the time. I was the top goalscorer in Angola, the very best, and I'd become top scorer twice already. I was ready and willing to go to that World Cup. I really wanted to be there. To visit Angola these days is to travel to a country transformed. Vast oil wealth has turned the capital Luanda into one of the world's most expensive cities. Yet there are pockets of great poverty and little more than 10 years ago, the country was still riven by a brutal civil war. It's why the 2006 trip to Germany meant so much to the nation. Teams from all over the world qualify for the World Cup. And we Angolans were delighted that our own country could be there. There were many problems in the country at the time, and people were able to forget them for a while. At least the war was effectively over by then, and we were just happy for Angola to be participating in the World Cup for the first time. The Angolans are still hopeful of progress in this World Cup cycle. Despite drawing their first three matches, there are only two points behind group leader Senegal, who they face next at home. With games against Uganda and Liberia after that, there's no reason why they shouldn't be capable of qualifying for the knockout stage. I want to end my career knowing that I went to the World Cup, that I participated in a World Cup at least once. As we already have the experience of being at the World Cup in 2006, I believe that if we get to the 2014 tournament, things might be different for Angola this time. And the signs are positive at Valladolid too. Manucho has scored eight goals so far, as the club heads for its best league finish since the turn of the century. After false starts at Manchester United and Panathinaikos, and a couple of years on loan with Turkish clubs, this is his most successful season in Europe. Most successful so far, that is. My mission is to become a regular scorer, as I've never managed that in Europe. I was top scorer in my country, and now I want to score as many as possible here. It gives me more confidence when I score in Europe.